in Tampa Bay. Tom, just kind of set the scene, paint the picture. What's the mood like right now in Tampa Bay? Well, I think um, the Razorbacks got in last night kind of late. Uh, Penn State got a practice in, and so I haven't run across a whole lot of fans, just a few on my flights coming down. And then um, we're going to go see practice here in about 90 minutes. Um, I think the Razorbacks are practicing over at the University of Tampa, which is a, a soccer field. I don't think they have football there, so it should be a good, pristine field. See how that turns out. And then um, we'll talk to Sam Pittman today. I, I guess it's around noon your time. So uh, it's going to start kicking into gear today. And, you know, uh, it's sunny. But I, I understand it was one degree warmer in Fayetteville when the Razorbacks left and then the temperature that was expected to be when they got here. So we're talking about mid-70s and pretty sunny and, and uh, feels good. That's pretty crazy to think of the, the temperature, how there's not much of a difference. Now, I know I've seen the bowl schedule itinerary. Make sure you take advantage of those five or six open bars, Tom. But uh, what else do you have <laughs> planned down there outside of just attending the Razorback events that they're going to? Is there anything that you're kind of – interested in going to see when you're down there in tampa bay well i have some in-laws a sister-in-law who grew up in florida and she highly recommended uh clearwater beach so that's part of their itinerary but i would have done that regardless um certainly not going to do anything related to the tampa bay buccaneers i can tell you that (laughs) but um i don't know i'm i'm just going to kind of stick with the itinerary i think they have a bowling night called splitsville and then they do the clearwater beach they have a um, bush garden, so I'm looking forward to yep. seeing what that park has in store because I've heard about it over the years. So, I don't know, nothing crazy, nothing extravagant. We'll, we're going to keep pretty close to the vest. I went to bush gardens with my uh, with my youngins when they were a lot smaller years ago. It, it, that's a that's a fun place and a neat ride uh, across over there uh, to, to Tampa or to uh, bush gardens, but should be a lot of fun. They kind of have an Orlando-type feel to it. Um, when when you look at the team and kind of where it's at, I mean, uh, you know, we talk about availability. We were just talking about it with this Saints game that I'm going to go to tonight, Saints and Dolphins. Uh, Tom, that's that's one thing I guess we'll get a little more of a glimpse about. We're we're seeing games canceled. We're seeing, but but I think it's the fact that the Hogs are there. The fact that both teams are already on 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 site with Penn State gives you a pretty good feeling this game's going to move forward. You know, that's the thought of it. And there had been some whispers, I think, that was there something going on in the Penn State program uh, earlier during Christmas week. And I guess that's that's okay, and they're here. Uh, but I'll tell you, um, there's just no telling what may happen. I mean, they're going to be without two top linebackers. Uh, does that mean Arkansas can run the ball better? Maybe it does. Maybe that's the game plan for them. Um, Arkansas will be without its great talent in Traylon Burke. So, We'll get a good look at the roster here coming up in 90 minutes and see if there's any, you know, uh, interesting interesting or strange um, absences and um, uh, and take it from there. But it's the same. It's 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 a growing deal, you know, with, with bowls. Guys who opt out, um, guys who may get dinged up in, in practice leading up to a, a bowl game. And then, you know, now in the, in the COVID uh, years – we have the situation with the protocols, and uh, I, I just see where the, the Miami cancellation yesterday, a lot of people raise, are raising the idea, a lot of these people who have gotten it have been vaccinated, you know, do they have symptoms? Are our are, are, are COVID protocols already out of date? You know, are, are they um, obsolete here one year after they were made? And so... Um, you know, officials have been scrambling ever since this hit to try to fit their sport into to the known medical um, protocols. And, you know, I think for the most part it's gone well, but I think we might be um, at a point where I don't know if all the protocols match the, 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 the situation on the ground, so to speak. Tom Murphy with us. He's live in Tampa here on uh, the Morning Rush. Another thing we've been discussing this morning that's still out there, and Hunter Yurchek made some comments uh, to a television station in Little Rock over the weekend, is about contracts and is about money. Any feel from you that uh, the deal will will maybe be done before the, before we kick off on the first? Oh uh, well, um, with Sam, I you know I doubt that he. I know he went to to. Um, Pittsburgh, Kansas, to be with Jamie and her family over the Christmas 
a break, and, and, and you know, I can't say I blame him, and I'm sure Hunter Juracek spent time with his. Maybe they've had some phone conversations. I expect it to be after, but um, he talked to me about this very thing and also the assistant coaches. So, mm-hmm. you know, you, you keep your eye out for the, the schools. To me, it was like a Louisiana Tech or a Louisiana Lafayette. Those are both filled spots. The school was in Texas for a Kendall Biles. Um, and nothing, it doesn't seem to me that there's anything open that would be a slam dunk deal. So Sam Pittman, the, the last presser we had with him was, was very, very hopeful that they retain their entire staff. Um, you know, the odds for that, I don't know. They're probably not great. A guy or two could get peeled off, but if they could return their coordinators and Scott Fountain uh, on special teams, I think it would be a big win for the Sam Pittman administration. So, and, and another thing, Hunter, your checks, he needs to get a deal done. So, to me, the, the entire football staff and, and Hunter Juracek will be priorities for the U of A uh, in, the, in the opening weeks of 2022. Tommy, you just brought up the weather on Saturday. The game is supposed to be a high of 78, a low of 79. That's what the weather looks like. And <laughs> Tom and uh, Tommy and I were discussing at hour number one about the idea of maybe an Arkansas fan or two. You know, it says, oh, I got a great Christmas bonus. So I'm just going to make my way down to Tampa. Is there anything that you think between now and then – that could convince an Arkansas fan that's on the fence to go and make the trip down to this bowl game? Um, well, I mean, they already know the weather's going to be good, and it's just a matter of, you know, if you can get your get your travel plans together. I know some people have, have made the long drive, but uh, it looks like there's plenty to do. I, I mean, this Bush Gardens thing, Tommy's got me got me excited about it now to see a, <laughs> a theme park and I don't know what yeah. we're going to watch there or what's going to happen there I think maybe the bands perform or something but I'm excited about that and just the fact that Arkansas is in a bowl y'all and, and you know they were in the Cotton Bowl um, was after the 2011 season but it's been a while since they played in a major bowl and the the feel I got from the media representatives here they, they do it up right it's a nice media setup for us and so I can't imagine that you know that it's any different for both the teams and I, and I think there's gonna be plenty of stuff to do and it's a well-run deal and um, I know I always enjoy waking up on January 1st and watching this bowl because it's you know it's usually an early kickoff so I'm pretty jacked up about that too Tugger and Sherwood wants to know, Tom, is there any players that you anticipate stepping up this game? I think Clay was talking about Bryce Stevens last week. Is there anyone that you think that's maybe going to have a breakout game to to kick off this postseason, maybe set a tone for 2022? Yeah, I mean, look look at Keetron Jackson, who's done a good job blocking. I mean, I think he's going to he's earning his keep to be a, a favored target for KJ next year. And when you look at what the uh, receiver core looks like for him when you add a Jaden Hazelwood, you add Isaiah Satania, you got Keytron rising up, you still got some other holdovers from the current team like Bryce Stevens. How about this for an underrated play? Two underrated plays on this season was Bryce Stevens when Nathan Perotti was out against LSU. His first punt return in that game was a 26-yarder, and then the one where LSU punted late, late in the game you know, he had to make that catch. If he if he somehow muffs that or fumbles it and LSU recovers, they kick a game-winning field goal, basically his time expires. So two big plays from the freshman. I think they anticipate good thing. He's a speed guy. And we've seen what speed can do on the edges in college football. And if Arkansas can throw a couple of those guys out on the field next year, um, it, it can make all the difference for your offense. Tom Murphy with us here live uh, from Tampa this morning. You, we've been mentioning the weather and wearing shorts. I've, I mean, it's kind of been a, an, an odd, weird feeling to uh, to go all the way through the Christmas holiday here and get down there. And really, you mentioned the, the weather's not much different in Florida than it is back at home. I, I would think that would make the bowl practices both back in Fayetteville and uh, there in Tampa uh, much more productive, we'll just say. I think so. Um, they had the young guys scrimmage. You know, they lost Cade Renfro, the quarterback, with an injury. I think Mateo Soli got dinged up in that, uh, although I understand he's coming to the game. Um, but, uh, yeah, I do think they were productive. There were some colder practices at the beginning. Uh, but once they get down here, I mean, no pain, man. I don't, I don't think there's really rain in the forecast. So should be good conditions. 
for uh, them to get their game plan in uh, the final week of preparation here. Yeah. And, and when you when you look at where uh, kind of things are at for KJ Jefferson, we talked about this leading up to it, uh, and what's at stake for him. In your mind, is is this about being a Heisman, um, you know, candidate for next year going into it? Is it about being maybe an SEC all SEC uh, preseason selection? Uh, what's truly at stake here for KJ Jefferson in this game against Penn State? In your opinion? Well, it's it's a national broadcast. Um, we under, you know, we know Matt Corral's leaving, and you know uh, Bryce Young will be the the big talk of college football or the SEC, you know, going into next year. But I think everything is on the table for KJ Jefferson. I think if Arkansas has a similar or better year next year, then his and and he is a key uh, producer in the offensive part of that, then he would have every reason to be in the Heisman talk because of the schedule that you're doing it against particularly when you add in the non-conference games the Razorbacks will have. So I think I think him battling Bryce Young and maybe some other guys who rise up at quarterback, it always happens, um, will, will all be at stake for K.J. And we and we just talked about all the, the weapons that could be in store for him. We know that there's a good stable of running backs on this team, and I think they'll have a chance to be highlighted in this game. So what you're seeing is the fruits of, of Arkansas's recruiting – um, a lot of guys will be back on the offensive line, so they're they're really not going to lose a ton. I mean, they lose Traylon Burks, and, and they lose Myron Cunningham, and, and Ty Clary, who's been a, a good um, a producer for them on the O line. But otherwise, a lot of talent coming back, and KJ could be you know kind of the the string puller of it all. And as I say, I don't think anything's off the table for him, and uh, what could be his future in next season. Tom, enjoy your time in Tampa. We will catch up with you on Thursday as we get closer and closer to this bowl game on Saturday. That's outstanding. Talk to you all then. Has you covered for all the holiday season. More props, odds, and lines than ever before. BetOnline remains your number one spot for all sports action. Head to our new updated desktop or mobile website to sign up today and receive your 50% welcome bonus with the promo code BELIEVE to receive your bonus. That's B-L-E-A-V to receive your bonus. And it's not just football. BetOnline has pro and college hoops, NHL, boxing, UFC, even your favorite Vegas casino games. Don't wait to take advantage of all these amazing offers available for the 2021 season. Bet online is the fastest and easiest way to bet on all your favorite sports.